everyone, it's Casters here, and it's time to play some more Ark Survival Evolved. Oh, oh, oh! Oh man, oh man, the Fear Evolved event is here. It's here for the next week, and I'm so super pumped. I'm so super pumped, guys. It's like amazingly cool, okay? So first thing, we can get pumpkins. Not only can we get the pumpkins, but we can place them. Oh my gosh! All right, okay, so I'm getting a little ahead of myself. First of all, how are you guys doing? I hope your day is going absolutely amazing. It's Thursday, tomorrow is Friday, and then it will be the weekend. So that's like super amazing. I hope you guys are looking forward to it. And Halloween is coming up. That's like super, super awesome. So Ark has made everything all Halloween themed, and I love it. Oh my gosh. Now, I did do some recording yesterday, and I got all this <laughs> kind of stuff placed in my yard. Did a little bit of Halloween decorations, and my recordings got all crazy messed up. The audio was, like, completely cut out for, like, over half of them. So, super bummer. We're doing a little bit of a redo, but it's totally cool, man. We're gonna, like, hang out, show you guys some of the new features in this update, and just kind of go over it. It's gonna be a little bit of a mini-episode overview kind of a thing. And the next couple of days, we will get into some of the really cool stuff in this update. So the first really amazing thing, and I love this. Look at this graveyard! Look at this graveyard! Like, oh my gosh, guys. It is so stinking cool, and we're gonna come back and look at that again at night. But if we come out here and run up the hill... Oh my gosh. I love this update. It is so cool. I'm sorry, I'm just like totally nerding out because... Look at the fall colors in the trees. It's so awesome, man. It's absolutely beautiful. And the ARC devs are amazing. I love how all out they went for this Halloween holiday. And it's so awesome. Oh my gosh. So look at this awesome little pumpkin patch. There's pumpkin patches kind of all over the ARC now. All over the island. And you harvest them just like a stone or like a fern. You just have like an empty hand and you can pick them up. And the ones that are, like, here on the vines, you can't actually pick up. Oh, see, I might have picked up a big one that was nearby. Um, but you can't actually pick up the little ones on the vines. Those are just, like, representing new ones growing, I think? And then there's also these scarecrows, and they're hilarious. Okay, so I picked both of these scarecrows yesterday, but they respawn just like any other resource in the game. So, like, in case you guys didn't know... Scarecrows are totally like a plant. They just, they sprout right out of the ground. Super magical amazingness of Ark. <laughs> Why does he have like flies around him? Why does the scarecrow have flies around him? I don't even know. <laughs> so yeah, super excited. This is an amazing update. Brings a bunch of new creatures. Sorry, we're getting a little funky chunk as we run back to the dino ranch. Which is haunted now, man. I can't even believe that. We got a little graveyard right at the front gate. Um, so yeah, there's new creatures. They're super cool. There's like above ground spiders and above above ground bats and both of those are tameable. And I believe only the spiders are rideable. I think those, yeah, the spiders and the bats are the only two that are tameable and then the spiders are rideable. And there's a dodo rex. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. There's gonna be a dodo rex that we can find. And once it's night, I'm hoping that he'll kind of spawn. Once the moon comes out, we should see some sort of, like, a message saying the Dodo Rex, uh, like, is here or something like that. Um, but since we are kind of waiting for night, uh, I want to grab a little bit of meat. Our baby Amy is almost grown up. Now, I'm not sure if they slowed down how slow the, um, creatures actually mature, but it seems like they did because... She hatched, not yesterday, but the day before. I mean, we're well over 30, almost 40 hours at this point since her hatch hatch time. And, um, yeah. So, I've been feeding her like crazy. It's been a little bit of a stress point. And, like, making sure that she's awake. I would be lying if I didn't say that I did kind of, like, wake up and check on her in the middle of the night. So, while we're talking about this cool update here, we're gonna take Phoenix... And bring him over to the carnivore island. Do a little bit of hunting. Maybe we'll see one of the cool new dinos over there. Like a bat or a spider or one of the zombie dodos. 
This update brings zombie dodo hordes, guys. Like, little armies of zombie dodo birds. That is, like, amazingly awesome. <laughs> so, as you guys can see, uh, Phoenix got quite painty. He got really painty. You know, it's like Halloween anyway. And I... Oh, man. Oh, man. Is that a big piece of candy corn? It's a big piece of candy corn. Let's go get it. Let's go get it. So yeah, he got super painty. It's like Halloween. And I had some sky blue paint and some pink paint. So I was like, why not, man? Phoenix knows he's a man. He's a super manly, fabulous bird. Our fabulous feathered friend. All right. Oh my goodness. Look at the size of this piece of candy corn. This would last you an entire lifetime. Oh my gosh. Okay, GPS blueprint. Now, I'm not sure if you can actually get any of the special Halloween items from those candy corns. I can't even remember. Oh, there's another graveyard. There's another graveyard. Since this one isn't the one in my yard. Oh my gosh, check this out, guys. <laughs> it's haunted. You can't just go picking people's gravestones up. Now, I'm running around here. Are you guys noticing? There's, like, nothing here at Carnivore Island. What's happening? Where are all the mobs? So, yeah, super cool update. Other than the new creatures, they also brought the actual trophies that you can put on the new trophy stands. Um, they had brought the trophy stands in about a week ago, but the trophies didn't actually drop yet off of the Alpha Predators. So, super cool. That's a thing now. I'm not sure. I don't even... I haven't really looked at what the engram for that is, so we'll do that super quick together here. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Trophy base. There we go. There's our trophy base, and I believe there's also an artifact pedestal. I, I'm not sure if that's a separate thing, or if we could also use a trophy base as an artifact pedestal. Well, anyways, I don't want to sit here and look at Engrams the entire time. It's totally cool, man. Alright, so I was hoping to see one of those, like, bone... Rexes, or like a bone Carno or something over here. Oh, is that a bat? There's bats attacking me! There's bats attacking me! Oh, jeez! It's an oink! It's an onik! What are you bats doing? Oh, jeez, they're kind of... They're kind of, like, messing me up, man. You guys are fast... You guys are fast little things. Peace out, man. Level four, level three. All right, we gotta tame one of those and we gotta name him Batley. Like, we just gotta. Uh, that is a reference to something really obscure that probably none of you know about. <laughs> when I was little, there was a show. This was way before Nickelodeon Junior or any of that was a thing. It's just plain old Nickelodeon, but there was a show that was called Eureka's Castle. And there was a dragon, and his name was Magellan. And there was his friend, who was Batley. He was a little, like, he wore glasses. He was a cool little bat friend. And, um, yeah, so I really want to tame one of those Onyx, and I want to name him Batley. It's super cool that they made it so you could tame them. And that's just like a magical floating RG. I don't know where that hitbox actually is. I'm really surprised that there's none of the, like, skelly dinos over here. Um, something cool is there's gonna be bone dino costumes, so I'm not sure if you get those from the actual skelly dinos that you find around the world. I hope so, that'd be pretty cool. I wanna, for some reason, I really want my Bronto to be a skeleton. Like, skeleton Brontavius is just gonna be the best thing of life, man. Oh my gosh, we gotta get this piece of candy corn. It feels like I'm trick-or-treating in Ark. <laughs> And I feel like I've been really off task here. I did get a couple stacks of meat so far. That's totally cool, man. Some is better than none. Ooh, a hand grenade. Hand grenade blueprint. I feel like I might have one of those. Uh, but I'm not sure, so I'll just bring it home anyway. Oh my gosh. Is that another Onik? Was that an Onik? I don't even know, man. Yeah, that's another Onik right there. He just took down an RG? I do have some stuff on me. Do you guys think I could knock him out? Let's try. Oh my gosh. Is he coming for me?
Did I get him? Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Make sure he's on passive. Okay, Phoenix, you're on passive. Okay. Okay, okay. We gotta run a little bit. Oh jeez. I got no food. What kind of fail? I got no food with me. Hmm. Now, the last time I was trying to knock one of these out, which was last night, I totally killed him. So I'm thinking I need to space out my shots a little bit more. So that he doesn't totally just eat all these arrows right in his face. Oh, come on, man. Just go to sleep. Ah, oh, man, I killed him. I killed my friend. Oh, man. Access his inventory. Recipe, some berries, general garbage. Oh, well, that's totally cool, man. Oh, cool. It's about to be night. Yes, night is falling. Darkness is falling. Gamma three. Oh, I said it. No, we need to. No, 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 no. Gamma, why am I putting a slash there? Gamma three. Okay, there we go. Now, if I look behind me, is the moon coming up yet? No, not yet. So we're just going to head back over to base super quick, put some of that meat in the feeding trough, grab a little bit of steaks for myself because I was silly. Never leave home with no food in your inventory. That's just like, that's like ARC 101, man. I don't even know what I was thinking. Oh, there's the moon. There's the moon. Oh, man. Gosh, that is so cool. I just love that, that blood orange moon. Oh, my gosh. I'm not sure if the Dodo Rex is a thing that spawns every night. I don't know if he just spawns at a certain time of night or if he's going to spawn like once in an arc week. I don't I don't really know how it works. I know we don't summon him cuz I've seen him I've seen the like worldwide message pop up a couple times. I just have not actually been able to find him. So that's definitely a thing that I'm going to need to get to in the future here. Like for sure. We got to find this guy. We got to take down a Dodo Rex. And I gotta get some dino costumes, because that would just be super, super cool, man. Alright, how are we doing in here? See, we don't have very much meat at all in here. I'm gonna have to do some serious hunting. And, um, make sure that little baby Amy grows up all big here. Look at how huge she is. <clears throat> you are a baby- you are not a baby anymore. Look at- she's adolescent, Amy. And I painted her pink and green because her mom, F4 Phantom, is white and green. And Phoenix is like the blue and pink, so we went pink and green. You know, it's it's whatever. It's Halloween. I can always erase the paint after Halloween because it does look a little silly, but it does make them super easy to spot. So that's cool, man. Oh, one other thing I do want to show you guys. Okay, the last episode. I know there were a couple or two episodes ago. Doop doop doop. I know I had gotten a comment, like, interested to see if I could put a roof on top of this birdcage. And I want you guys to know that, no, you can't. You cannot place the ceilings off of railings. So I had to extend the pillars straight up, all the way up, and then make the ceilings off of there. Which is okay. It's totally cool, man. It, it makes it kind of a thing. I'm toying with the idea of maybe putting two other pillars in here so we've got, like, a four pillar dealio going on in here. I just am afraid that it'll make it a little too cramped where if you have bigger dinos in here uh, breeding, they'll, they'll collide on a whole bunch more stuff. So I'm not too sure on that yet. And if we go up there, it's not completely optimal. It's not completely optimal. So we're up here and this railing, this little lip, doesn't do anything good for us. Like, with the fence foundation fake out railings that we used before, we could totally pile those up and you can jump on top of those and stand on them. The second you touch one of these railings, here, let's jump on it. You slide right off. You see that? Oh, ah, uh, no. That was a fail. Thanks. Good job. Good job, Phoenix. You came and got me right away, man. You're such a good bird. All right, let's land again. Okay, that's just pteranodon. Just making sure I got no bats up above my property, man. Alright, so, yeah, the second you touch this railing, oh, it just launches you right off. It's super amazing. Super amazing. So, yeah, I tried putting more railings on there, and it looked really bad because of the different levels of railings on certain walls and, like, where the dino gate is. But, you know, it's totally cool, man. It's totally cool. And, oh, it is night. 
we are in Gamma 3, right? We'll go to Gamma 4. I did end up adding a little bit- Oh, we can go to Normal Gamma, that's right! Just because you guys are super special, we're gonna turn on the generator. So that there's a little bit of lights going on here. Oh man! So I added a little bit of a lamppost in there. And some chairs that we can sit in. And it's kind of like a dino waiting center. Like you're waiting for your eggs to hatch. Or you're waiting for the mammal to be born. So you can just sit here and kind of relax. It's like super fun. <laughs> Alright, now that like night is fully here. I want to show you guys that little graveyard again. Oh my goodness. It is so cool. This is one of my favorite things ever in a game. Oh, I am starving. Uh, what can I eat? I wish I could eat one of those pumpkins, man. That's cool. It's cool. I got a million Rex eggs. That's what we're gonna eat. How much hunger does that take care of? Really? That giant Rex egg only gave me four food. Well, you learn something new every single day. Phoenix man. Land. Just land. All right. So now that he's out of our face and done, you know, sticking his wings in my eyes, look at how cool these pumpkins are at night, guys. Like, the scarecrows totally glow. The jack-o'-lanterns. You carve them with a paintbrush, guys. It's so cool. You just need a paintbrush, and then you smack it with the paintbrush, and you can carve whatever you want on these pumpkins. It's, like, amazing. And then they glow all super cool. It's, like, awesome. I love that. Now we're coming over here, grabbing some food from the fridge. I want to show you guys the little bit of a, like, poltergeist problem we're having at the dino ranch. <laughs> oh my goodness. So at night, you can see these, like, spirits over the gravestones. Look at how cool that is! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! And watch this! Are you guys even ready? Are you guys even ready? Ooh! <laughs> Oh, I feel like this is really bad karma. We shouldn't be picking up all these gravestones. Oh, they're super heavy, man. They're like super heavy. Let's just drop some of those. And I think they regrow just like the plants. Oh my gosh. This is so awesome. I can't even believe it. What an awesome update, guys. What an awesome update. But all right, this is going to be the end of the episode. Like I said, it's going to be kind of a short episode. We're just kind of doing a bl an overview of this awesome Fear Evolved event. And I'm super excited we're gonna go after a dodo rex, try and find some, like, zombie dodo hordes and the new dinos. Oh, oh, oh. As always, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. Thank you so, so much for watching. I do seriously appreciate it. And this is Cassers. Out. Up a tree. Clinging to a cloud. Up a tree.